Thank you for watching this Hexagon Geospatial eTraining module, Quickly Process UAS Data with GeoApp UAS. This workflow assumes you have an existing account on the Hexagon Geospatial Marketplace. If you don't, please visit the Marketplace and create an account by clicking Sign Up and follow the prompts. GeoApp UAS works with data that has been uploaded to the map chest. Begin by visiting the Hexagon Geospatial Marketplace to access your account. Click Sign In. Log into your account by typing your email address and password, then click Sign In. Select GeoApp UAS. The GeoApp UAS dashboard displays and is ready to use. To start processing your data, click Process. On the Data Selection tab, start by selecting a map chest folder that contains image data. Only the images that match a specified filter, such as JPEG, will be retrieved. To specify your map chest data folder, click Select. Look at the contents of the UAV input data folders on map chest by clicking one of the folders on the left. A list of JPEG images in the folder is displayed on the right. If needed, Page through the list to verify the images in the folder. Determine which folder to select and click Select Folder. A preview of the selected image type from within this folder are displayed, along with the corresponding number of those images. For this example, use the From EXIF Orientation Format type. This applies the orientation information. Click Next. The Processing Settings tab lets you specify the output images to be created and some other general settings. For this example, a mosaic output file will be created. Under Mosaic Export, keep the Create Ortho Mosaic option checked and click Enter Name. Select the output destination Gravel Pit Output. This is a folder on Map Chest where the output mosaic will be saved as it's created. Select the format for the output mosaic. For this mosaic file, select ECW Format. To name the file, type Mosaic, and then click the check mark. Click Use Entered Name. You can also choose to generate a digital surface model, a DSM, as an additional output. Keep the Create Digital Surface Model option checked and click Enter Name. When prompted to select a folder in Map Chest for the DSM, select the same folder, which appears by default, as you used for the mosaic file. Select IMG format for the DSM output. To name the file, type DSM and then click the check mark. Click Use Entered Name. For this example, do not export an LAS file. Uncheck the Export Point Cloud option and click Next. The Summary tab lets you preview all of the selections before running the processing. If necessary, change any of the selections by clicking the Back button. After reviewing the summary, click Next. On the Start Processing tab, click Process to start processing the data. The list of jobs displays and indicates when processing starts and when it has completed successfully. Click the icon on the right to show the results of the job in the map. The map displays and includes the results that have been processed. Zoom in to view your DSM. Select Mosaic to view your mosaic file. Both output files are ready to be downloaded and shared. Thank you for watching this Hexagon Geospatial eTraining module. For more eTraining, visit hexagongeospatial.com/eTraining.